All right, this video is uh, about business growth. How do businesses grow and expand? So far, we have talked about the different types of businesses, so sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, and franchise. With that types of businesses chart, uh, we kind of address some of the reasons why they have some of those advantages or disadvantages um, with our um, roundtable discussion. Uh, and now we're going to be looking at, all right, when a business is ready to expand and so they're ready to grow and get larger, how do they do that? What do they do? Um, so that's what this video is about. So first off, um, one major way that a business is going to grow and expand and the most common is uh, reinvesting their profits back into the business. What does that mean? That means that a lot of different things. So that could be that, hey, I made a profit and so now I'm going to buy a new computer uh, for my business. Uh, that me could mean that, hey, we made enough money that now we can hire another person. Uh, it could be that they expand their services and they offer uh, a wider variety of products. It could be literally that they're tearing down walls and they're making the actual space of their business bigger. Could be a lot of different things. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily uh, address all of the things um, to be able to grow. Sometimes businesses also grow through mergers. Now if you remember back from chapter 7 we talked about a merger is when you combine two or more companies together into one. Um, and what I told you back in chapter 7 was is that the federal government is very careful about mergers because they don't want a merger to end up being a trust. And remember, trusts are going to be with the intention, a merger with the intention of um, eliminating competition. But mergers as a whole don't have to be a bad thing and they can actually help businesses grow. So why do businesses merge? Okay, now pause here for a second. Uh, I am going to tell you that I'm going to go and put a bunch of pictures up here. I'm going to put up a bunch of words. I would highly encourage or recommend that you write them down. Just saying. So why would a company want to merge? Well, first of all, it may be just that desire to be bigger. For example, this picture is actually showing um, Delta Airlines and Northwest Airlines. Some of you may be so young that you don't even remember Northwest Airlines, um, but they merged together and they wanted to merge together to form a larger company, a larger airline company. Why would you want to do that? Well, simply to control more of the market, to control more of the industry. If you remember from chapter seven, we talked about market share. When you control more of the industry, more of the market share, then you get to have uh, more control over the price and you can uh, differentiate more and so this, it's better for the producer in that standpoint. So sometimes companies want to merge just, just to be bigger. Sometimes it's about efficiency. Um, so I have the example of if NBC and Comcast merged. Now I'm not saying they did merge but I'm saying if they merged it would be for efficiency's sake. Um, and the reason this is is because uh, I don't know if you know this, but the uh, Comcast and, for example, I had DirecTV or Dish Network or whatever the cable company is, um, they are the provider to you, the consumer. But did you know that they actually have to pay for the, for example, NBC content, the NBC channels? So I don't know about you, but I've had the case before where there has been contract disputes between DirecTV and NBC, for example, and so as a result, um, they were arguing over the price that DirecTV was supposed to pay NBC for their content to offer their channel on DirecTV, and they couldn't agree on a price. So they had a time period where they weren't offering NBC channels at all. That is just inefficient, right? What if, what if DirecTV and NBC merged together and they were just one company? Oh my gosh, how much time and money would that save? that would be an efficiency merger. Uh, sometimes it's just to acquire new products. For example, way back when, when Google acquired YouTube. Why did they do that? Well, Google had tried to do their own video sharing site, but it was unsuccessful and it wasn't helpful and they finally got to the point where they're just like, why are we trying to reinvent the wheel? There's already a site out there that people use. Let's just buy, buy out YouTube. Let's just acquire YouTube. And then they have new products, right? 
Sometimes it still eliminates rivals. So in the case of Sirius and XM, I think I've mentioned this before, they used to be two separate companies. Um, and when they merged together, and it was a very, very hotly contested merger, they merged together to try and get rid of a rival company. Uh, and so that way, again, you can control more of the market uh, and you don't have to worry about arguing with a rival, right? competing with a rival. And the last reason, oops, sorry, uh, the last reason, uh, and I forgot to put it up here, a picture of it, is, is the whole idea of trying to get rid of a bad reputation. So getting rid of a bad reputation um, sounds kind of like a weird reason to merge, but sometimes what happens is, is that you have a company that has developed a poor reputation with consumers, and if you merge with a company that maybe has a good reputation with consumers, all of a sudden, uh, people kind of start to forget all the bad stuff about your company, or they think that, hey, maybe they're doing this, they're gonna solve all those problems that you know we didn't like. So that's another reason why a company may wanna merge. All right, in the next video, we'll talk about different types of mergers that will result, um, but that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. Bye.